On 20th August 2021, the Satok Suspension Bridge was finally opened to public. This was 17 years after the old one collapsed back in 2004. Its opening has attracted quite a lot of attention. Actually, Sarawak has a lot of suspension bridges, especially in the rural area like this one in Kampung Semadan and this one in Kampung Danu and more examples of suspension bridges in the interior of Sarawak. So why the extra interest on Satok's suspension bridge? This video will take a look at the history and interesting facts that make it famous. Let's take a tour of the bridge. It has been a long journey getting the bridge up again. A journey that takes us back to the year 1902 when the idea of a bridge was first mooted. At that time, work has just started on the Matang Reservoir to provide water supply for Kuching. A bridge was proposed to carry the water pipe across Sarawak River. However, the idea that Raja Charles had on how to build the bridge was not feasible. Yet, at the same time, he refused to accept the advice of his engineers. They couldn't come to an agreement and it was not built until after his death. Raja Charles died in 1917 and his son Weiner took over as the third Raja. The idea of a bridge was once again brought out and work started in 1923. Rumours then started going around that a head was needed to be put under its foundations to appease the spirits so that the project will go on smoothly. This was a belief common among the local people and it caused a bit scare. The rumour spread like wildfire. The streets in Kuching would be almost deserted by 6pm every day and few would dare to go out after dark. Until one day, something suddenly happened. A labourer working on the foundation of the bridge was drowned. Thus, the bridge had got its head and tension eased after that. The bridge was designed and constructed by a public works department engineer named A.S. Law. It was intended to carry two 12-inch mains and a roadway for pedestrians and vehicles of up to 1.5 tons. It had a span of 700 feet long and a roadway of 7 feet. Finally completed in 1926, it cost $52,000 to build. It was listed in the Sarawak Book of Amazing Facts and Record as the oldest vehicular bridge in Sarawak. But before long, more problems arose after the bridge was completed. The pylons started to tilt when the water started to fill the main pipes and the enormous weight of the water was too much. Continual heaping of stones at the anchorages had to be done until the tilting stopped. Since then, the bridge became a popular place to visit and was an important river crossing as even motor vehicles used it. Back in the old days, lots of people would go to visit the bridge especially at night when the old Kuching Minstrel Band was playing. The Constabulary Band also used to practice their trumpet and saxophone there. It was a place to bring your guests to visit and take photos. And of course, it was a favourite place for dating among the youth. The bridge attracted a lot of attention in 1989 when Awang Mahyang, the Sarawak football coach, jumped off the bridge with more than 100 fans to fulfill his vow because Sarawak make it to the semi-finals of the Malaysia Cup of that year. With his battle cry, Ngap Sayot, he really brought the passion for the Sarawak team never seen before. But by then, the bridge has declined in importance when ferry service was provided in the 1960s to ferry motor vehicles across the river and especially when the Tun Abdul Rahman Yaakob Bridge that runs parallel to it was completed in 1975. 
As time goes by, it slowly deteriorated so much so that by 1992, it was closed to the public and on a stormy morning of 7th October 2004, it finally collapsed. In 2017, the state government announced that it will be rebuilt at a cost of 8 million ringgit. Work started in the same year and was expected to be completed in 2019. It was nearly completed, but before the bridge was open to public, it was discovered that an anchor block on the Matang site was tilting. The problem was rectified and finally, it was opened 8 days before this video was taken. The new version, although looks similar, is not totally the same as the old one because the role of the bridge has changed as compared to the old days. The new version has a span of 213 meters and 3 meters wide. So, with such a colorful history, there is no doubt that this is the most famous suspension bridge in Sarawak. But most of all, I think, it is the feeling of affection and attachment of the people to it that makes the difference, at least to the old generation who remembered the old bridge. Thank you for watching.